Good morning, 7.56 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on this Wednesday, October 16th, 2024. I'm XRP Future Millionaire, and I reside in the great state of Michigan. So as you can see, XRP is up about one half of 1%. Hasn't moved much, right around the 54.4 cent mark. Overnight, we had a little bit of volatility. We actually are doing exactly what we need to do to have a continuation. If you were part of the live yesterday, we talked about the possibility of the continuation up as high as 58.45. We know we have that gap around the first area is 55.9 to finish up. And then ultimately around the 57.35 cent level is where it does look like we'll ultimately push up here. Now, a big indicator of whether or not this is going to play out bullishly because we always have to pay attention to that bear flag. This is not something that's changing. It's just we're trying to finish out this short-term move. But this bear flag, we look good if we stay over 54.3, use that as a support structure. We start to break down pretty bearish if we start coming down below that 53.5. And we've got a nice W formed here. Yesterday we talked about as long as it held 53.14, we're fine. But now we've pushed the top side of this. Now 53.14 is still important, but now you've got to make sure we're going to start to hold that 53.60. In fact, we really don't want to even come below this 53. It's basically now we've moved up to this top area. We'd like to just ride this out. We'd like to just ride this out. And um, the technical move, as we can see out of this bear flag that's formed, on a break up and even a retest, even if it's just a, hey, we had an overzealous drop down, the algorithms need to catch up. We do have that gap at 57.3. Maybe we don't even come all the way to 58.4. Maybe it just comes up to 57.3 and fills the top of the gap. Well, that's something. So that is what I've been watching for for the better part of it. It feels like two to three weeks now. This bear flag, the drop happened on October 3rd. So now it's been over two weeks. Tomorrow will be two weeks exactly. So we've had about 10 days of consolidation. But now we're on the top side here. We're on the top side. It remains to be seen whether or not this will play out to the top. But I believe that that's what it's trying to attempt. If we look at some news today, we've got Ripple President Speaks out on RLUSD use cases launch near or draw near. Launch draws near. And if you are watching right now, please make sure to hit that like button so that YouTube will recommend this update. It'll pop up in the news feed. So if you're searching through YouTube, if somebody new or old member is searching for the content, or maybe not even searching for the content. Maybe they're not. Let's just say they're not searching for the content. You hit that like button. YouTube recommends this. Then we pop up in the news feeds. So on YouTube's news feed, when you're searching, just looking through your thing in the morning, your news feed, if you hit that like button, more and more people will be able to click on uh, my community because it'll pop up. So Ripple President Monica Long share, has shared a Ripple post about its important recent milestone. Along with the details of RLUSD's future usage, this took place as the San Francisco-based blockchain Decacorn started its annual Ripple Swell event. So RLUSD to be used alongside XRP Ripple President. In her ex post, the Ripple President shared details of how the future stablecoin Ripple USD, RLUSD is going to be used and what the expectations of Ripple customers and partners are toward the product, the new product. According to Monica Long, our USD has been designed for financial use cases, including payments, DeFi, and tokenization. She underscored that the new stablecoin will be used alongside the major coin affiliated with Ripple, XRP. Together, they will help enable faster, more reliable, and cost-effective cross-border payments. Ripple's payment solution now covers over more than 90 countries. It has already conducted more than 37 million transactions worth nearly $70 billion. An article published by Ripple on this account mentions that RLUSD will also be utilized for helping other or users convert fiat into crypto and vice versa without worries about possible price volatility and ensuring efficient on and off ramps. Long added that RLUSD was also designed as an enterprise grade solution since Ripple partners and customer Ripple partners and customers have wanted that. Incredibly proud to share this milestone on stage at Ripple Swell. RLUSD is designed for financial use cases, such as payment tokenization and DeFi. 
We will use RLUSD alongside XRP in our payment solutions to enable faster, more reliable, and cost-effective cross-borders, says Monica Long on October 15, 2024. So Ripple reveals RLUSD exchange partners. At the above-mentioned Swell event, the Ripple giant also revealed that it received regulatory approval for launching RLUSD and named crypto exchanges that have partnered with it to help conduct payments in the soon-to-be-released U.S. dollar-pegged stablecoin. Accordingly, or according to the tweet, these crypto trading platforms are Bitstamp, Bitso, MoonPay, Bullish, MoonPay, Uphold, CoinMana, etc. Some of them, such as Bitstamp and the Latin America-based crypto unicorn, Bitso, already collaborate with Ripple, helping it facilitate Ripple payments, formerly known as On-Demand Liquidity, ODL. Today at Ripple Swell, we're proud to announce our Ripple USD exchange partners, Upon regulatory approval, RLUSD will be globally available for institutions and users at Uphold, Inc., Bitstamp, Bitso, MoonPay, Inderserve, Inderreserve, uh, CoinMena, and Bullish. Meanwhile, in the run-up to the launch, Ripple Treasury has minted 27 million RLUSD in two batches of 18 million RLUSD and 9 million new RLUSD. This is the largest amount of stablecoin minted since the launch of the private beta at the end of at the start of August. According to Ripple, ROUSD is operational, ready to be rolled out already. So, big news for the ROUSD. Big, big news. This morning, we'll continue to watch because I'm going to have to release this update here in the next three to four minutes because we got to get my son to school at 8.30. Um, but today, what I'm going to be watching for is the volatility. I want to see if we can hold this attempted breakout here, as you can see, we came down consolidated very quickly while I was reading at 54.26. It's pushed back up here, but I'm looking to see if this plays true. If you are in a trade for your own personal self, spot, leverage, preferably spot, that 50, in my opinion, I'm still watching this area. If this 53.1 is lost, I think it invalidates this tug, and then there's really no reason to hold. But we'll see because I think it's still putting in more of a bullish setup here. And I think today could be in the favor of the bulls. It could be in the favor of the ones who have some testicular fortitude that have made a play. However, there is a gigantic bear flag. So always remember that in the back of your mind. Hey, if this starts to break down and that 53 tons lost, Tom said, get, get out of the way. Um, Bitcoin, 67,866, up about 809, or 869 points or 1.3%. We've hit our target that we talked about, 68,322. This has been a long-standing target. Even if bearish, we talked about that this could be the first setup here. And then if you break out of this megaphone, I mean, there's nothing left. You've got a cup and handle. We're literally on the resistance now. If you break out of this, it's technically signaling a move to 115K. That's the depth of the cup. We're on the top side of this if we get above this at 68,322. And it's an incredible, incredible move that it could make. Now, is it ready yet? Is it going to fulfill the whole thing? Nobody knows. Nobody knows, but it's been in a gigantic, and I mean gigantic, cup and handle since 2022. Actually, yeah, about 2022. And it's massive. It is massive. And that megaphone side of it, that consolidation on the flag, is starting to get dangerously close to breaking out of this area. We've already hit 68,322 now, and the return back up. Are we too oversold now for Bitcoin? Because Bitcoin's in that oversold range. XRP is not taking that same tug. If it does, it should find its way at 58.45 or 58 cents. So <coughs> that was our target. If Bitcoin got up to 68K, it would open the door for XRP to run up to that technical move at 58.45. So I'm looking for some increased volatility today. Obviously, look at the numbers below that we've talked about. And if it breaks at 53.10, it invalidates this thesis. But as of right now, I'm looking bullish this morning. Um, we're looking bullish. Um, video description below and or pinned comments if you want to trade XRP worldwide. You've got my favorite exchange out here is BitUnix. It's the most convenient and it's the most um, transparent when it comes to leverage. Spot is fantastic. No VPN or KYC and they've got XRP worldwide. You've got Hotcoin with the same deal, a little harder on leverage, um, but they've got the XRP Bitcoin pairing and some others that you might not find on the other exchanges and then Blowfin. Look in the video description below under pinned comments. That's a way to copy trade. You won't hear much about that except that one second here. Look in the members only section if you want more info, but you got to be part of Tom's army. So please share this on social media. Stay positive. 
Make sure you pay attention to all the technical analysis. And if you made it until the end, hashtag be better, do better in the comments. It is going to be a dicey one today.